Not too long ago, the only gloves that I had were a bunch of Alpine Star GP Pros. Although they are great gloves and according to me they are the best gloves you can buy when it comes to safety, they are a little bit cumbersome to deal with when it comes to riding around in the city. Simple things such as keeping the keys in your pocket or taking cash out from your pocket seems like impossible things to do with these gloves. And getting in and out of these is like a workout session in itself. When I asked my friends about which gloves to get to make my life a little bit easier, almost everyone told me to get the Cramster Flux. Cramster Flux is a very popular summer riding glove in the Indian motorcycling community. But when I first read that it had full leather construction, I had mixed feelings about them. As almost all the full leather gloves that I tried before it did not score so well in ease of use or comfort. So when I first got these gloves, I was genuinely surprised by the way these gloves are constructed. It's a full leather construction with completely perforated upper and it feels nice when you are wearing the glove. It does not feel like a workout session at least. The best part is that the inner seam does not poke my fingertips as there is a separate section of leather added to give your fingers the much needed space. There is also a pull tab which makes getting inside the glove much 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 easier. The palm area is double stitched and there is an extra layer of leather for added safety. Although the stitching on my glove came off in the palm area near the thumb, I think it's a manufacturing defect as most of the riders that I spoke to who use these gloves did not face any such problems. The velcro strap is my favorite thing on this glove. It is solid and it is made out of the same material as the glove and needless to say it will last you as long as the glove is still usable. As these gloves are targeted towards a more general use, the fingers are not pre-curved and the ring finger is not attached to the pinky finger which made a huge difference for me comfort wise and especially doing all the things which I mentioned before. Taking cash out of your pocket, putting keys in your pocket and things like that. If I have to be nitpicky then I'll say that the knuckle guards are not as rigid or impact resistant as I would like them to be. And the perforated leather, even though it's better than any kind of fabric or textile out there, it is still weaker than non-perforated leather. But again, this glove is not meant to replace something like this. It is not meant for long rides or it does not belong on the track. It is not going to protect you from having a broken wrist when you're out on the track and having a really bad day. This glove is meant to provide you with much better protection than most of the city riding gloves out there at a price which makes it very affordable for someone who's buying this as their first glove or any kind of experienced rider who are buying these as their backup gloves. For me, they managed to hit the sweet spot between comfort and safety. So that's all I have for you guys today. Like this video if you like it, dislike the video if you did not like it. Subscribe to the channel if you are into motorcycling gear or like motorcycles in general. If you have any questions about these riding gloves or any kind of riding gear, do type them in in the comment section below and also let me know if I've missed anything to talk about these gloves. This is me signing off. Thank you.